How's it going? My name is Robert. I'm here with GuitarControl.com with another lesson for you. Now we've done a lot of pentatonic stuff so far and what I want to do is kind of take our pentatonic scale and make it not quite sound like the pentatonic scale that it is. You're probably saying, why would you want to do that? Well, because we just want it to sound nice and musical and less like a scale. So uh, what we're going to do is I have a lick here that's going to move us all the way across the fretboard and uh, in a couple different directions that we haven't really done before. But I think that this will have you thinking, and most importantly all, of all of these lessons, is the concepts behind them. So the concept of this one is a great one because it should open up our eyes to new possibilities out of our pentatonic scale. So other than that, make sure you get the tabs that are down below in the description, and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play lick here for you, and you can kind of see how it's all going to link together. <laughs> So obviously we're incorporating quite a few different techniques and this is really how I feel like you get a scale uh, to not quite sound like itself anymore. We're adding a lot of sliding and most importantly it's the feel behind the lick. You know what, I'm not playing a straight kind of like pentatonic lick. If, if you listen to it, there's a little bit of a swing vibe to it so it's not like a... Nothing like that. It's... So if you're not familiar with kind of incorporating uh, swing and all these different kind of uh, rhythmic uh, kind of effects you're playing. This is a perfect one to start with that stuff as well. So real slow I'm doing this. So again we're working out of A minor. This is going to walk us through all of our shapes again but in a much more musical uh, manner this time. So we're going to play three on the B and five on the high E. Now if you play that five, you slide up to eight. Okay? We're gonna do a similar pattern here. We're gonna play five on the B, then eight to 10 on the high E. Okay, eight on the B, 10 to 12 on the high E, 10 on the B, 12 to 15 on the high E this time, 13 on the B, uh, 15 to 17, 15 on the B, 17 to 20. So now we're kind of back at box one. So next we're going to kind of descend our pentatonic scale, but not in our normal. Because that sounds like the scale. We want to mix it up a little bit. So we're going to go 20 on the high E and 17 on the B. Same thing moving up a string 20 on the B and 17 on the G. 19 on the G. 17 on the D. 19 on the D. 17 on the A. 19 on the A, 17 on the low E, 19 on the D, 17 on the high. Just hitting all our root notes there. And like I said, once you have to look down, then I would focus on the feel of it. That's where the this uh, little swing vibe. So I don't know about you, but when I play that lick, it makes me start tapping my foot because it has a, a nice rhythm to it versus just kind of being like, you know, it's, it's not just fast for the sake of being fast. It's kind of fast, but it has a lot of groove to it. So there's that lick. Okay, thank you for checking out the video. That is going to wrap it up for us here today. Like I said, make sure you get those tabs down below in the description. That way you can follow along with all the stuff that we covered. And other than that, I will see you next time.